down here at Highland today with Juliet, Lara Quente, Hubner. Uh, Juliet, um, it's a beautiful day that we have here. First off today, thank you for meeting with us on rest day, um, getting ready for regionals this week. Uh, but first, let's flash back um, to why that trophy is behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's talk about indoor a little bit. Um, that was obviously a story which I believe the first person I saw write about it was Rob McCurdy mm -hmm. um, of the Marion Star and, and kind of took a national notice here in the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about that experience a little bit, what it was like to compete um, at that meet and do something that's really never been done before on the girls' side um, for Indoor State and why that trophy's there. Um, indoor State's was kind of a special one this year, you know, it being my senior year and everything. Um, this was my fourth time going to Indoor State, so I went my freshman year, and then of course it's my fourth time senior year. Um, my junior year we knew that this me winning the team championship was a possibility, but you know I didn't come as close as I wanted to. Uh, this year we kind of went into it knowing that it was a possibility, but not trying to like dwell on it too much, you know, like not letting that get in my head. I kind of just wanted to go in there and compete and just have fun at being my last Indoor State meet. Um, through the OATCCC um, of my life, you know, it was it was pretty exciting, and to just be able to go out there and compete and go against all those girls that I've been competing with since I was a freshman, and some of them even in middle school, it was it was pretty awesome. Um, it's got to mean a lot for you to be able to have that individual accomplishment, but still bring it back here to your school because mm -hmm. constantly, all I've seen is that you know when you are talking, there's one of those act, you know those attributes that you have is just so much talking about team and we and not really saying I. So how did that feel still to accomplish that individually but bring it back for your school? Um, it meant a lot. You know, even if there weren't a lot of girl, like I was the only girl there representing Highland, um, I still had two boys there. And then I had all the support with the girls team behind me. So it felt awesome. You know, there was, I think, a record number of girls competed during the indoor season this year. And I only got to compete with them like one or two meets because I, you know, I travel around the U.S. and stuff, going to Kentucky and Boston for New Balance and stuff, but um, even if they weren't there, I still like knew that they were supporting me. I got good luck texts before and after it and, you know, some of them found out through each other and I, it was like posted all over the place already, so I got a lot of texts from all the girls' team um, and all the girls and everything and it was, it was pretty sweet, you know, being able to bring it back and just know that even though I won it by myself, it was still like a group effort. Absolutely. And that taking place in March had to be a good way to roll right into the outdoor season. So uh, how did you feel about the regular season this year and how have you felt with how the postseason is going for you and your event so far? How do you feel about this year? Um, I feel pretty good. I think, you know, I kind of was wishing for a little bit more at the beginning of the year, but I just came from that huge peak in March and I, it's hard to understand, you know, like you have to have that low point before you reach back up again in June. Um, so I was a little bit frustrated in some of my events, but Overall, I think I'm pretty, pretty happy with like how I've been doing. You know, I just tied the uh, D2 hurdle record this past weekend at um, Districts 1389, and then uh, high jump, I got second 5-5. Five, five. But you know, I just got to keep my eyes set on that state meet the first weekend in June, and just know that all these hardships and everything that I've been going through is like worth it. And definitely is going to pay off because I know we talked a little bit uh, committed to the University of Cincinnati. Um, you know, what really stuck out about that program that made it feel like a good fit for you and what do you look forward to at competing at that Division One level across, uh, you know, the collegiate level? Um, Cincinnati was, you know, kind of like the perfect college for me. I'm going into nursing, so um, they have a really good nursing program there and they were really willing to work with me on my schedule and everything, you know, because junior year is kind of when clinicals pick up and that's when it gets hard. So they were really the only school that, you know, had good hospitals around me for clinical opportunities, 15 minute walk to three different hospitals and stuff. Um, and they were also like, you know, they've had experience of people going through that program and on the track team and everything. So it's very exciting. And uh, their track program, you know, is kind of picking up, especially in the jumps. Coach Weinberg has built a great, uh, um, sorry. Coach Weinberg has built a great high jump and Maltese group and everything. So it's, been, it's pretty exciting, you know, going in there and competing against some of those girls too in high school and just knowing some of them, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, and then obviously I know it's an aspiration to try and take this thing all the way someday mm -hmm. um, and to do it at a professional level. So I really can't think of anyone better um, that I've spoken with yet to maybe give uh, a small piece of, of wisdom and to make it even simpler, maybe to someone, what would you say to someone who maybe has considered track and field in the back of their mind, but just needs that extra push to go out and actually try it? 
just just do it. I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt to just try something and kind of put yourself out there in an uncomfortable situation. You know, my coach always says like, even if it feels uncomfortable, it usually means that it's right, you know, like that goes for everything. You kind of just have to try something and then you have to learn like, okay, maybe this isn't it for me or maybe I want to continue this. Um, even if you're not good, you know, continue putting in all that work and just doing what makes you happy. Well, uh, wonderfully said and we obviously look forward to um, seeing you down at the state meet, uh, rooting for your success and then seeing what you can do at Cincinnati. Thank you. All right, thanks for joining us. Thank you. with head coach Chip Went, uh, Coach, first I just want to talk to you about um, the, the performance of the team overall this season so far um, and just how you have felt about the performance of the team throughout the entirety of spring. Uh, that's, that's a great question. Uh, these girls work very, very hard, particularly in the preseason. Uh, we had probably the most extensive indoor season that we've had in several years at this school, uh, participating in indoor meets, Mount Vernon, uh, Otterbein, Ohio State. Uh, the girls also did a lot of uh, strength and conditioning uh, training with uh, Coach Denton, uh, my assistant coach, and um, uh, we, we, we had a great season. We did things that we haven't done in years at this school, and I think uh, that precipitated into a much better, much more improved outdoor season. Uh, our times were much faster this year uh, overall. But being in a, such a tough league as the MOAC, especially with teams like Shelby and Galleon and River Valley and so forth, uh, uh, we, we moved up the ladder a little bit, but uh, not as much as, as we had hoped. But again, uh, much better overall uh, team effort and times, distances, jumps than last year. Um, when you do experience that kind of growth, uh, how does that kind of help uh, just remind you why you're coaching? What, what are those little things that remind you why you're out here doing what you do and what do you enjoy the most of being a head coach? Well, I, I think I enjoy the most of seeing that improvement, but I enjoy the relationships. Kind of Mike Krzyzewski, the former Duke coach, he always talked about the reason coaches coach isn't for, you know, rings and trophies and, and titles. It's, it's really what you experience together with those athletes and the relationships that you form. So this group had a lot of seniors. We had 15 seniors with two other girls that won't be with us next year. So that's a big, that's a lot of kids for a, a small school like ours to have 15 to 17 kids that, that uh, just, you know, were great leaders that, um, that not only led our team, but uh, on the track, but also in the weight room and in the hallways and academically, they, they, they did a fantastic job. Um, and obviously to touch on what you just said, you never want to narrow the scope to just one person, but obviously down here, I do want to talk about Juliet as well and just ask what it's like to have um, an athlete like her to coach her um, and really see that progress blossom. Well, Juliet is a uh, exceptional uh, what I like to call generational athlete. Uh, our athletic director, Mike Delaney, called her the greatest athlete that's ever come through this school or ever that he's ever seen, I should say. He hasn't been here that long. He's not that old, but uh, her work ethic is uh, superlative. It's uh, over anything that I've ever seen from any high school athlete. And that includes uh, football, basketball, baseball, track, or cross country. Uh, softball, any athlete that I've ever seen. And I, I've been here since 85, 86, and I've never seen anything like it. Um, uh, she's also very altruistic in the fact that uh, she helps others constantly. Uh, she helps others set up their event, whether it be long jump or high jump. Uh, she's very, very giving of herself as much as she can be. But I think the younger kids have really seen her work ethic and so forth. Uh, she will be missed, but uh, so will the other uh, 15 to 16 kids that are on this team that are seniors this year. Well, thank you, Coach. Appreciate you letting us come down here on an off day, and we wish you the best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you.